So in here, what we want to do is the same way we saw the number of requests here, uh, we can put a number for members so that uh, somebody doesn't need to manually count the members. They can easily see how many they are. And secondly, we're looking at photos because this is actually an easy fix. And then we can go. So let's begin with the, the number of members here. We want to be able to see that. Okay, so let me come back here to our text editor and we will go to group.php, not the not the class, just group.php. And exactly the same way we are asking for the requests here and counting them is exactly the way we're going to be asking for group members. So at this point where is groups? Oh, Actually, this is the wrong place. Oh, is it? Oh, no, 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 it is not. This is the correct place. So members is right here. So we have to do this just before this part. So actually, we don't have to do it just before that. We can do it even here. It doesn't really matter as long as it's done before the display. So requests, I will move to request here. And just change every request reference to member. So members count is go to group get members that okay. Members string. So we'll get the members string over here. And we're going to do exactly something similar to what we did here. So I will copy this and just put a space and paste that and change that to member. And actually that should do it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I will refresh my page and you see now I get two members. Very nice. Now let's go to photos. So if I click on photos here, I get this horrible error because the file doesn't actually exist. So fear not, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the photos file, profile content photos.php because it's eerily similar to what we are looking for. And then I will create a new file in the folder, paste the content, hit save, and then I will say something like group content photos, yes, .php. Enter. So let's come back here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now if I do refresh, uh, I should get something uh, much better. So user data undefined, but fear not, because if we come back to group content photos, where exactly is, um, well, it tells us on which line number, and that's line number six, which is here. So we are missing user data because we need group data. So let's remove that. Uh -huh. Where the user ID is, go to that. Okay, so seems uh, good enough. Okay. So we found that. Okay, uh, interesting, interesting indeed. And there we go. Okay, so yeah, um, it was that easy. So now we have photos and now we have members and we can also have requests and we have a discussion. So the only thing remaining is uh, settings and the about section. Okay, alrighty then. And also, since we have the members tab here, you could add a few members over here on the side if you want it. That's uh, totally up to you if you want to put a few members here. So we could do that. Let me click here on members because actually it's uh, very simple to access the members. So what I will do is come to, 
Let me come here to members right here where we have this system over here and I will, um, let's see, moderators. Okay, so this is another thing here. Uh, we have to change this uh, access control here because this is the, hmm, also the photos page needs to have some access level of some kind and what else here? Okay, so the number of members uh, should be seen by members by other members you don't need to be a moderator to see that so let's put this level at members like this yes it's that simple so every member now is able to see the content here uh what else the photos also need a limit because these are actual posts here and they need to be limited on who can see them to the members only. So I will come here and I will paste this uh, PHP if statement over here and copy back uh, these two parts here and come back to the photos content and I will paste you do not have access to these content. Okay, so that's good. At least now photos can be seen by members and uh, the members themselves can be seen by members. It's member exception. <coughs> Excuse me. Group content photos. Oh, wait a minute. So I pasted this on the wrong page. Sorry, my bad. This is profile content photos, but I was supposed to do this on the group side. So let me just paste these here and then I will undo from here. And then I will copy that as well and undo from here as well. Like this. All right, let me close that so I avoid editing it and I will put that in here in the group section. Okay, so just make sure it's group content photos that you're editing and not profile. So let's confirm that we haven't queued anything. So I'll refresh, discuss, photos, requests, members. Okay, discussion. All right, so let's copy our content from members right here. And let's just make sure Actually, we don't need to put any access levels on these because that's on the home page. So it will naturally uh, wait, members, members. Uh, it depends on what you want here, actually. So because if you want only members to be able to see who is a member, that's entirely up to you, then you have to put this. So for now, I will copy everything as it is, but I will not put the, you do not have access to see this content because it's not really a requirement at all. So, but I will just copy the, anyway, let me copy it for the sake of the end if here, then I can remove it manually, copy that. Let me come to the group content default and this is the friends bar where it says uh, members, but then there's this. So let's replace all this with our very own uh, and paste. So I will remove these two, I don't need them. And then I will move all of this internally move it to internal affairs all right uh, this uh, makes a lot of sense so let me come back and let me refresh and there you go you see members there but we need to have a limit here because there's one two three four we can only fit four here or maybe I don't know maybe ten at the most so get members 
So it can be up to you to see how many members you want to uh, to get. See, get members here. I can put how many by putting a second parameter here and I will put something like 10, like that. And then now what I do is when I go to the group classes, right here on get members, I will put an optional value of a limit. I'll say limit is equal to maybe uh, let's say 100. So it's up to you to set that limit there. Then I can get that and use it as part of my query. Here, <clears throat> it's only one guy we're looking for, so this is fine. But here, we can say a limit. We can say limit, uh, limit, like that. So if it's 10, limit 10, and so on, limit 20, and so on. So for example, if I refresh here and I want to limit to one, just one here, let's come back and see that in action. I will go to my uh, group.php. No, actually it's the default group content default and change that 10 to a one. Then come back here and refresh. And it's definitely not working. Well, the reason it's not working is uh, because I am only getting one because I only do have one member. The other one is the admin and is the, a must to be retrieved. So unfortunately, we will not be able to see that in action. Okay, so, so far so good. Things are working well. We have photos, we have requests, we have members, we have discussion and we have a few members here so we're going to work on the about and the settings page and uh, that should be a wrap for our groups all right so i'll see you in a future video